I need you to, I can do right now. I never hate you like I do right now. Cause all you ever do is make me. <coughs> I'm over dramatic. Hey guys, it's Sierra, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing Slime Palooza, which is something that I've just made up. And basically, in this video, I'm going to be showing you some DIY slimes that you can do. I'm going to be showing you some hacks that you can use to make your slime addiction easy to, you know, contain. Because recently, I've been obsessed with slime, and it's kind of, kind of needs to stop, but I can't stop. But anyway, please give this video a like. And also subscribe if you're not already. We are trying to reach 300 subscribers, so go ahead and subscribe to help us reach that goal. Also, this video is a collab with my friend Sprinkle Dots, so she is doing DIY Shimmer Bar Slime, I believe that's what it's called. So you should definitely go and check out her video. It will be linked down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go on to the video. The first method of making slime is using borax. So for this, you're going to need a bottle of glue, again, of course. You're gonna need full coloring or paint to color the slime again. You're gonna need a teaspoon of borax, um, a cup of warm water, and then just like last one, you're going to need two mixing bowls and you're going to need a spoon. The first step is to get your warm water and your borax, and you're supposed to mix those two together until the borax is completely dissolved. The next step is to take your glue container and just pour all of the glue into the container that you're going to be mixing in. Once you finish adding all of your glue, then um, you can add your food coloring, but I'm going to add my food coloring at a different time. So now what you need to do is grab your borax mixture. I want to like slowly add it into the glue and also stir it at the same time. Make sure not to add too much at one time because if you do, then it might end up getting like really, really hard and like too hard for you to really do anything with it. Once it gets to this consistency, it's really time for you to start kneading it with your hands. So what you're going to do is just take it in your hands, of course, and you're just going to start playing with it. And once you like think that it's perfect or whatever, then you can keep doing it. If you think that it's like way too sticky, like I think so right now, then you can always just add more borax, but make sure not to add too much. Once your slime gets to like this kind of consistency and it doesn't stick to your fingers that much, or if it does a little bit, then that's okay. Um, if it's not like this after a while, then you might have done something wrong, or you would just need to add more borax. The reason why I love using the borax method is because your slime becomes really, really stretchy, and it's just a lot more fun to play with. Super stretchy slime. The last method of making slime that I know of is that you can use laundry detergent. So for this one, it's pretty simple and you only need, let's see, three ingredients really. You need a bottle of glue and you can use detergent. The only detergents that I have tested that work are Tide and Gain. So if you use either of those, you are sure to have a good experience. And you also need food coloring or paint to color your slime. And I'm back to this very orange lighting. But anyway, um, for the detergent slime, basically, I don't have any of the detergent here, but I've tried it so many different times. Like, I know how it works. So it's kind of like the borax one, but all you have to do is put the glue in the container and then you just slowly add the detergent. You don't have to add anything to the detergent. You just slowly add the detergent, stir it up the same as you would do with the borax method. But make sure that you do a little bit at a time because if there's too much detergent, your slime will be very like slippery and wet and like you put it in the container, you'll wake up the next morning and the slime will separate from the detergent that's like 
too much. Another extra DIY is really simple and it's basically you can make a slime stress ball. So what you're going to need is a balloon or two of them depending on how secure you want your stress ball to be. And then you just need slime and you can use any of the methods that I just said so you can figure out how to make slime okay so now I'm going to be teaching you how to make the stress ball um for the balloon you need to like cut like halfway through the nose part and then like maybe cut like a little bit more and then off of that piece because this is what it exactly looks like see if you put it together it looks like that you cut it off and then you cut this piece off which is like the rubbery part that keeps the air inside and you what we're using this for is we're gonna use it as if it's like a rubber band you are gonna wanna open up your balloon definitely and uh, if you hear noise outside the door I don't know if you can hear that but if you do it's cuz I have sisters and I've told them to be quiet and so you take your slime and what you want to do is you just want to like stuff it into the balloon and you want to put in a good amount you don't want to add too much because if you do then it'll start spewing out and you want to make sure that your slime is not very really sticky because if it is really sticky it's going to be much harder for you to actually put it in once you have stuffed in your slime like that you want to kind of pull the um, nose up and you want to twist it around to make sure that the slime isn't going to come out. Now you see like right there I have like some excess slime coming out. That's okay. You just want to make sure that it's only a little bit. It was like some right there. And um, then you're going to grab your rubber band thing. You're going to take it and then you're going to want to just put it on the nozzle as if it was a rubber band. And then there you go, you got your own little stress ball. If you want to make sure that this isn't easy to bust, so basically you're just putting this balloon inside of another one. Now we are on to the different hacks that I have for you guys to make your slime experience more, let's see, uh, what is the word? I actually forgot. Enjoyable. There you go. So the first hack is that Michael's is a great place to get glue. If you want like a regular, um, let me see, if you want a regular like four ounce bottle like this, um, they have these there for like two dollars I believe. So next hack is that if you want to use borax, borax is easily found at Target. The next hack is from my personal experience and it's that if you want to make your experience much easier, I suggest that when you make your slime, you make it in the container that you want to store it in. The fourth hack is that if it sticks to you or something, all you have to do is like quickly press your finger in there. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, so I have this bronze slime that I made the other day, and so I'm going to give you an example. So like if you're like playing with it or something, and it like gets stuck, it's not going to work. Why is it not working this time? But anyway, if it gets stuck to you, instead of um, just like pushing your finger in, what you're supposed to do is just quickly ouch or quickly just like press your finger in and it should easily remove it the fifth life hack is that um to keep your slime for a longer a period of time like to keep it from drying out so quickly all you have to do is make sure that when you put it in the container the container is very airtight the sixth and final life hack is that clear glue is great for putting glitter in I hope you guys enjoyed Slime Palooza. If you did, then please make sure to give this video a like and also subscribe if you're not already. This video, again, is a collab with Sprinkle Dot. And yeah, bye guys.